Hello mates, my name is John Nathan Trousers and today we are here to discuss Deborah Tannen's Genderlex styles. The term Genderlex suggests that masculine and feminine styles of discourse are considered to be two distinct cultural dialects. Tannen is a professor at Georgetown University and her research specialty is conversational style. So it's not what people say, but it's how they say it. The basic premise of Tannen's book called You Just Don't Understand is that male-female conversation is cross-cultural communication. She's convinced that miscommunication occurs all the time between men and women. Her writing underscores the mutually alien nature of male and female conversation styles like rapport versus report talk or woman's desires for connection versus men's desire for status. Let us take a closer look into the minds of men and women, young and old, of all different backgrounds and observe their divergent styles of communication in the following responses. <clears throat> if there is a story of, um, uh, that she was intimately involved in, uh, then it's a story that she's very interested in. But if it's a story that you have to uh, ask for, uh, she's not so willing to talk. Starts to uh, mention that he was in the war when he was young, and uh, he says that that he killed so many soldiers, that, and that's all not true but he makes up all these stories so that when they tell a story usually it's at a very awkward moment when the man is trying to do something that he's very interested in so i would say they have bad timing when they want to tell a long story it depends on what kind of story they're telling uh if they're telling like about sports they will act all crazy and yell and scream um, well, obviously, kind of like everyone else, they have hand motions to um, put more expression into it. Well, I kind of feel like boys go into more detail than girls do. Well, I'll, I'll just talk about my sister. She, she tells a lot of stories. What she does is she just drags stories on forever. She'll be like, I had a dream last night. And she'll say every single detail. Like, it, it's just too long. <laughs> Like, I feel like men exaggerate to make things seem better, like, than they really are. Yeah, like, more exciting, unrealistic. Uh, when they uh, have conflict with you, they, uh, uh, the opposite sex, meaning the uh, females, uh, always consider themselves to be 100% correct with no room for uh, for anything else that you might be right to uh, seldom enters their mind when he starts to argue with me i'm not going to let him win <laughs> so <laughs> so we do continue arguments for an hour or so but um even if he's right, I'm going to make him wrong. It, um, some t it depends on the situation. Sometimes I think it can get blown out of proportion. But at the same time, I think sometimes a woman can really save you too. So I think it balances a guy out very well. You don't even know like what's going to happen. You don't know if they're going to be dramatic and get all upset. Or if they're not even going to pay attention to anything you're saying. So, either way. Like, the girls will probably, um, they could probably, like, go crazy and maybe, like, you know, scratching each other and stuff like that. <laughs> or they just, like, yell at each other. A lot of times I bring up stuff from the past, you know, like, well, remember that one time you took my eraser and you, like, dropped it on the floor and it got all dirty? She's like, yeah, but we're arguing about math right now. That doesn't, like, relate with erasers. Like, they'll just bring up anything they can find so they could win the argument. I guess guys usually tend to, like, get more offended in conflict. Um, irrationally. 
super irrational. They throw tantrums. Um, yeah, I don't. I think it's common for people to think that men are the more logical sex, but I completely disagree. I think that they get mad and they let themselves be mad, and it would take them much longer to come back to like the realization of like, oh, okay, this makes sense, or let's figure this out calmly, let's use logic, let's use reason. But I think it's like and they're impulsive and they just get mad first, so they want to be aggressive and they want to fight rather than just being like. And I think women are better at that. I think women can be like, wait, this doesn't make sense. Like, let's actually think about this. And men are more physical and aggressive. Uh, you asked the question when there shouldn't be any. That's uh, number one. Number two, uh, you gave me the wrong answer, and this is the answer I wanted. Uh, that's number two. Number three is... Uh, why do you say that? Uh, not uh, doing his laundry, <laughs> but not having his dinner on time, <laughs> doing something around the house that uh, I ask him to repair something and he tells me, okay, I'll do it uh, tomorrow. And uh, sometimes it takes two, three years before he does it. <laughs> I would say, where were you? Uh, where were you? What is there to eat? Why isn't there any food? Where have you been? Like if a guy is talking to another girl and uh, that, then the girl, they, like they, if they're dating a girl, yeah. the girl probably like, oh, like, oh, hell no. Oh, you don't talk to him, he's mine. No, no, no. Where's the phone charger? <laughs> I, um, I need clothes. And you're never home on time. <laughs> Why don't you stand up straight? Like, that's a complaint I always hear. You know, it's like, just maybe sometimes I'm tired. Oh, get off your phone. You're always on your phone. <sighs> I always hear that one. Um, not having enough money. I think it's huge. Finances and having to work and work is a drag. I don't think a lot of guys get, like, just have to work, just accept it, like you need money. I feel like guys only want to do what they want to do. Like in relationships, I feel like they complain so much when they're in a situation they don't want to be in, or they're being forced to do something like, say their girlfriend or significant other wants to do. Um, like go shopping or spend time with her family. I think that's when they complain if it's not something they want to do. Or like women taking their time. Okay, yeah, men are so impatient. Uh, well, <clears throat> the female always, always starts to fight. There is, uh, you could be just asking, uh, it's a good morning, isn't it? And immediately she says, why do you think it's so good? There's no reason for you to be thinking that it's good. Uh, it's not good for me. Uh, and if it was, it's none of your business. But I know that the woman's usually right. So I think what tends to happen is that the man gets upset and then he starts it. I so. think that would ask the women start the fight first because um, I, dis I disagree and uh, and even if he tells me yes, honey, I don't take a yes, honey for an answer. I would say probably most of the time the guy would do like one little thing that's dumb and the girl would probably make it like a huge deal and bring up other things they did. Woman? Well, sometimes it's woman, but I noticed that a lot of guys like to fight too. Like they just like to argue. I don't know if it's like the dominance thing, like they want to be dominant. Or they just like black arguing? Women. Women for sure usually start the fight. Because men, I don't think, I think confrontation exhausts them. With a woman especially. Or if it's something that they don't see is important, then they just write it off. So I think typically girls will start confrontation. I think it's a girl because girls like to complain a lot. And we like to get a lot of things. Probably the one who's had the worst day because they're like more affected or like more like 
more emotionally like vulnerable uh woman uh beautiful very caring and um i mean one of a kind genuine gentle um just with everything with their words with their touch um their demeanor understanding which I don't think all girls necessarily are understanding, but I think all girls, or most girls, make the effort to be understanding. They make an attempt to understand, whereas men might not. I do think women are intuitive. And what other guy would say, beautiful, um, smart, and one of a kind. Smart, I guess more open, and like trusting. Smart? Caring and interesting. I find girls very attractive. Some. Okay, and uh, talkative. And, oh, shy. Some can be really shy. Okay, so a man is confident. A man is stubborn. But a man is also very ambitious. Very masculine. Alright, girls. Uh, what is it like? Very uh, aggressive. Aggressive. Wow, that's a perfect word. Aggressive. Right, um, Hardworking, confused, and um, indifferent. More to himself, strong. Well, I mean, to himself as in like independent, and then he is closed minded. Strong, dumb, and annoying. <laughs> or, or simple. Brave, strong, and, and like, wild. <laughs> um, so I think men are capable, strong, and protective. Are we rolling? Oh, shit. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you for joining me. My name is John Nathan Trousers. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's a beautiful day here in Australia. The sun is shining. The kangaroos are abundant and the grass is green everywhere you look. So with that said, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for joining me and uh, 